When that blood runs warm with the long red wine I miss the life that I left behind But when I hear the sound of the blackbirds cry I know I left in the nick of time This road I know it's gonna turn to be my We know who John Glenn is. Got time, John Glenn. John Glenn, first American to orbit the Earth in space. Forget the last Was a senator for the state of Ohio, oldest man to go back up into space because he's a PT god. Before all of that, he was a freak. <laughs> John Glenn, 1974, ran for Senate against a, against a politician named Howard Metzenbaum. Howard Metzenbaum was a... John Glenn, at this point, was a Marine, first American to orbit the Earth in space. Howard Metzenbaum asked him, how can you run for Senate when you never held a job? What the fuck would you do if somebody said you? <laughs> now, I'm going to change a little bit of this. I can. It's my world. John Glenn said, is that right? I served 23 years in the United States Marine Corps. I fought through two wars. I flew 149 missions. My plane was hit by an aircraft fire on 12 different occasions. I was in the space program. It wasn't my job. It was my life that was on the line. And this wasn't a 9 to 5 job where I could take time off to take the daily cash receipts to the bank. I asked you to come with me as I went the other day to a veterans hospital. And you stand there. You look at those men with their mangled bodies. You look them in the eye and tell them that they never held a job. You come with me and visit any gold star mother. You look her in the eye and tell her her son never held a job. You come with me to the space program and visit the widows and the orphans of Ed White, Gus Grissom, and Roger Chapin. And you look those kids in the eye and tell them that their dads never held a job. You come with me on this Memorial Day weekend coming up to Arlington National Cemetery where I got more friends than I'd like to remember. And you stand there, you watch those waving flags, you think about this nation, and you tell me that those people never held a job. I'll tell you, Howard Metzenbaum, you should be on your knees every day of your life, thanking God that there are some men who have held a job. And they required a dedication of purpose, a love of country, and a dedication of duty that was more important than life itself. Their self-sacrifice is what made this country possible. Isn't that badass? Yeah. Isn't that badass? Yeah.